Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the parts of a flower. Flowers come in many shapes and sizes, but they are all used for reproduction of angiosperms. The petal of a flower is what gives a flower its unique shape and color. Many are brightly colored in order to attract insects and other animals that help spread the pollen. Next is the sepal. These are the small leaf-like parts that grow at the base of the petals. The peduncle is the stem or stalk of a flower. The receptacle is the thick part at the bottom of the flower and it holds many of its major organs. The female portion of the flower is called a pistil and it has four major parts. The stigma is the top or the head of the pistil and it receives the pollen. The style is the stalk of the pistil and when pollen reaches the stigma it will begin to grow a tube down the style in order to reach the ovary. The ovary is the base of the pistil and it holds the ovules awaiting fertilization. And then the ovules are the flower's eggs located inside the ovary. Upon being fertilized by pollen they will eventually grow into a seed and in fruit plants it will grow into a seed and the surrounding fruit. The male organ of the flower is called the stamen and it has two parts. The anther which is the top of the stamen and it is responsible for the production of pollen and the filament which is the part that holds the anther and attaches it to the flower. So there we go, the parts of a flower. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.